And good evening, everybody, and welcome to Camden. This is what a way to open our high school <laughs> basketball season here on BFA. I'm Chris Losey, along with Coffee Jones, as usual. It is the 2-0. and Camden Panthers are taking on Lenape, a team that's 5-0. and so Both teams are undefeated. However, the elephant in the room, Camden, they are the top-rated team in the country by some reports. I mean, I went to Max Refs this week, and it was surprising. Every team in the top five has played at least 13 games except for Camden. You talk about they played two games. They beat a good Roselle Catholic team, but they are now the number one ranked team in America, not just the state. And that is ninth rated is the rating for Lenape, meanwhile. So the key then for them is how they're going to handle this game. Did you get a chance to talk to anybody on the Lenape side? I did talk to Coach Wolf. He knows this Camden team is athletic. You got the number one player in this class and DJ Wagner. You got some big shot blockers. They're a full court press team. This is going to be hell for their defense and their backcourt all game long. They're going to pressure them. You talk about DJ Wagner, 46 points, 10 rebounds, 7 steals in the two games. He's the number one player. He's a future All-American. He'll be heading out to play Division I, some big-time college basketball. They're going to have to find a way to handle him if they're going to win tonight. You know, last year we had Camden here on BFA, and I had Rick Brunson at halftime, and he said to me, ball pressure is the most important thing. Without ball pressure, we don't get anything. We don't get any offense generated at all, and we certainly aren't able to clear the glass. So, ball pressure tonight but the key here now is the early timeouts that coach yeah. Brunson calls <laughs> so the over under I got is two minutes two minutes <laughs> yeah. right, that sounds like a good one but on the Lenape side we talk about them. they're a top 10 team in the state of New Jersey which has some talent when you talk about high school hoops Derek Simpson a senior guard he's heading to Rutgers he's their point guard and coach Wolf he trusts their point guard to be able to handle this pressure from Camden be able to push the pace control the tempo try to get some easy shots in transition that's our setup tonight when we come back. The opening tap and the starting lineups in this broadcast here on BFA, the Camden Panthers and the Lenape Indians. It's coming up next on BFA. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. It's so easy. They basically said, look, you can get a no money down lease. Sunrun comes in, puts in the panels, puts in the batteries, takes care of everything. And the price that you pay for your electricity is going to end up being cheaper than what you're going to get from the utility. So to my mind, it's a no brainer. I actually can't wait to go out and tell my friends about this. And welcome back to, it is Dewan Wagner Court. And the, the son is now wants to be <laughs> DJ. How cool One is that though? Top of course, named after your dad, your grandfather, and your dad on the wall. McDonald's All-Americans. Well, I don't know if you're watching that, that was a Disney series. I forget the name of it now, where uh, John Stamos was the coach. Same thing, the kid played, his, her father yeah. had the name on the gym. But anyway, all right, so here we go. Camden, you mentioned at the top, they're 2-0, and but yet they're the number one team in the country, and I think that's respect is what you said. Yes, I totally agree. You talk about some of the athletes that they have. You got the big guy in the middle, seven-foot Aaron Bradshaw. He's going to be a tough man to get past if you're Lenape trying to score in the paint. So there are the Camden Panthers. That's Rick Brunson in the middle, and I'm proud to say that I was a classmate of his at Temple, even though he probably doesn't remember. <laughs> And uh, taking on a Lenape team that, quite frankly, as underrated as they are, coming in 5-0, and and they've been impressive in all five victories for them this year. Yeah, average putting up 61 points a game, only giving up 41 points in those five victories. We talked about them being number nine in the state of New Jersey, according to Max Preps. So they're not a team that you could just play around with. Talk about Sion Medley with the hot start to point guard at the Camden high team and now to the starting lineups tonight maybe we'll have an anthem first
National Anthem tonight here from Dewan Wagner Court in Camden, the brand new floor. Mr. Wagner, I'm sure the benefactor. This is top notch, Coffee Jones. And this is a little bit, it's not as rowdy as that court at Van Nuys High School, but it's okay. nice. Starting lineups tonight brought to you by RK Chevrolet. Again, uh, you mentioned about the Coach Wolf for Lenape. They've got some scores, and they fully intend to be in this ballgame tonight. Derek Simpson, we talked about him. He's a power five D1 guard heading to Rutgers. There's Gaither. Again, Lenape 5-0 and coming in to tonight's game. And all the games, I mean, especially Cherry Hill West, 72-32. Yeah. Cherry Hill East was only the close one, but again, 5-0. That's the Camden starting lineup. And uh, again, all eyes are going to be on DJ Wagner. This place is jam-packed as usual. So those are the five for Rick Brunson and the Panthers, and we're just moments away from this one. Again, tonight's game brought to you by RK Chevrolet. <laughs> Keys to the game, let's start with Lenape. Usually when you have the David Goliath matchups, what do you see Lenape doing to keep them competitive tonight? They can't turn the ball over. That's the one thing the coach said. You cannot turn the ball over. They got to find a way to hit shots. He said he had a, a funny thing. He said splitting and kicking. Get inside, split the gaps, kick the ball out to shooters, and knock down some open shots early. And hopefully, if you can knock down open shots against a team that's going to press you full court, maybe they'll back off and play some man-to-man. -man. Because when you talk about the big fella in the middle, you're going to see the big seven-footer, Aaron Bradshaw, blocking some shots tonight. And that big seven-footer is in the middle to take the opening tap. Officials tonight, Tracy Williams, Brian Nugent, Jason Luer. Here we go. Opening tap to the Panthers. Sion Medley. A couple things I want to make, make sure I keep track of. Offensive rebounds, turnovers, and missed free throws. Those are the keys to championship-level basketball at any level. And the timeout already by Rick Brunson at 21 seconds. Well, I guess I lost the best. No, I did. I, I guess I lost 10. the best. You said under. You said under no. two minutes. <laughs> it's been under two minutes. He's already called one and chewing some people out. Well, he's not happy with something, obviously, and he is notorious for that. But 21 seconds and a timeout from Camden. Any thoughts it. on that? <laughs> I understand it. You got to get it right. You're going to tell your players, hey, run things the right way. Mm -hmm. Don't let those press clippings and what Max Prep say get to your head. This team is coming to win a ball game here in your brand new beautiful building. It was a 30 second timeout. That's Wagner. Tiki Clark draws the assignment on him. Wagner, this is a smooth score. You see, I can get into the lane any shot that he wants and finishes. And he gets scoring started for the Panthers. Averages 23 a game coming in. There's a long three, and Lenape is in front on the home run ball by Gaither. It's a big time shot to come back and answer the driving layup by DJ Wagner. Medley with the penetration, and there is a follow. <laughs> Brad Shaw with a slam. We can see some of the guys, the mayor of Camden here, George Norcross, Eagles Hall of Famer, Ron Jaworski across the way in the stands, and they both shook their head in amazement watching yeah. Bradshaw throw that down and slam. This is the D1 recruit, Derek Simpson. Kick out. Left hand, the jumper is no good from Aiden Anderson. And a lob, and underneath, and the finish. Deshir Haskins is on the board. 
6-3 early on, and there is that ball pressure from Camden that Lenape thus far not having much problem getting across. Yeah, they got a good point guard, some other guys that can handle the ball and give a little bit of relief to Derek Simpson. That's Gaither. Kick out. Remember, no shot clock in high school basketball, and I expect Coach Wolf to use it. There's a nice cut, but a better block. Anderson drove, and he had it rejected by Haskins. Now Medley. Out top, two and a half gone, and there's a collision on the Wagner, no call. And out of bounds, and the ball will stay with Camden. That was kind of physical there, though. Watch that again. First substitution in the game, Cornelius Robinson replacing Haskins. Penetration from Medley, Wagner, no. No good with a rebound and a floorboard for the high. And they'll reset it. Haskins and Medley out top. See Coach Brunson calling out a play. The All-American DJ Wagner coming to get the ball. These guys are going to put up at least 20 shots in this ball game. There's an open three. No good from Robinson. Another rebound. And now Lenape's chasing the ball. Yeah. And again, to remind the fans watching, there is no shot clock in high school basketball in Jersey, so you can't hold the ball as long as you need per possession. Medley short. Haskins follow, no good. Ball in the air, Haskins has it again. Wagner squares one up. No good. Look at the hustle by Haskins. It's out of bounds and the ball will stay with Camden. I believe we have a 30 second timeout taken by Lenape. So with 4.30 left, each team is taking a 30-second timeout. And we will keep it here. So early on, uh, more of the same. Camden is just controlling every, every offensive rebound. Three offensive rebounds already. You're down three points. You only hit that one shot. If you're Lenape, you got to find a way to get the ball inside the paint, make some shots because this defense is going to be swarming. They just, they're just getting started. Again, you can't stress it enough. Ball pressure, Rick Brunson emphasizes that not only game after game, but shift after shift. Sequence after sequence. Off the inbound, here is Medley. Scoring up, that's the big guy, Brad Shaw. And he got it. He's got four. Camden up by five early on. Look, Mikey Rhodes is a small guy. He can't play a seven-footer. He tried to push him out on the block as far as he could, but good patience by Brad Shaw getting to his spot, and the jump hook was easy to go. Off the miss. On the floor, we've got a jump ball, so the ball will stay to Lenape. And that's our first held ball. One of the points is, you, you mentioned the Tiki Clark number four for Lenape. He's got the ball right now. He has drawn the assignment defensively on DJ Wagner, so we'll keep an eye on that matchup tonight. Nice look underneath, oh. but Simpson short. See the type of athlete that Simpson is. He's going to play point guard at the next level at Rutgers up in North Jersey. And then Bradshaw is fouled. Non-shooting foul, so Camden will keep possession. Rick Brunson, like he always does, he'll move in and out with the bench. They got some depth on this team, but you talk about Medley and Wagner. They're going to be the two staples on the floor. Wagner off the screen. Missed that. And a push underneath. And this one's going to go against. Great play design by Coach Brunson. Gets his All-American a wide open shot. See yes. DJ knock that down in person playing in 
Cor LA Fitness the pickup ball. Cornelius Robinson with the push foul. Indians in possession, three and a half left here in the first. Glad you're with us tonight on BFA as we kick off the basketball season. We've got a lot for you. Off the turnover, Wagner. Hey, there we go. He's not just a shooter. He's got bounce, too. Number one player in the country in his class, DJ Wagner. Four for DJ. And it's 10 to three. Nice dribble drive. Penetration, but you can't finish. That was there Aiden Anderson, but there's a three. Look at going up is Brad Shaw, and they're going to say no. He was out of bounds. If he did not stop a possession, he's giving Camden time to go man to man, full court. They're picking up. You see Medley chasing Simpson around. He cannot See. relax playing against his Panthers defense. That's Gaither, and he's got Bradshaw way out on him. Simpsons three, no good. And Haskins has a floorboard for Camden. Two and a half left in the first. It's the Panthers by four here on BFA. Wagner bumping, and then he had it picked. And there goes Simpson dishing off, and it's a two-point game. Turnover by Camden, the first of the game. Under two minutes to go. Camden by a basket. That's Wagner looking for some space. Missed that, but Haskins is underneath, and he's fouled before the shot. So the foul is called by Brian Nugent, but it's on the floor. So what we talk about, Chris, on both sides, you get the turnover by Wagner on the previous possession, they get the run out and get a layup. This possession, you give up the fourth offensive rebound. Could have been an and one opportunity, but they called a foul on the floor. Now Bradshaw's on the bench. Rasheer Fleming, number zero, into the ball game. Haskins banging in, left-hander got the roll. Haskins has four, and that's the Camden lead. 90 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Gaither eyed one up. Had Great defense. That was a double team. Simpson, Gaither, now he's open. Can't get it, and a one and done. Medley with the rebound with a minute 15 left. Good move, good move. And Medley. You know, DJ Wagner's going to get all the hype and acclaim nationally. But Sion Medley is one of the best point guards you'll find in the entire state and in the entire country. Don't let his size fool you. He plays big. Spills out for Simpson, but again, no Indians underneath. And 40 seconds left. See if Rick Brunson wants to hold for one here. See a lot more structured offense in this game. I was at that first game against Roselle Catholic. Another top 10 team in the country that Camden beat. And they're just one step ahead, Coffey. Lenape wanted a walk, they didn't get it. Then the dish to Robinson. And Camden now has an eight point lead with 10 seconds left here in the first. They're controlling the pace and the tempo of this game. They're playing full court man-to-man. -man. They're not pressing or trapping like they have before. Gaither with two seconds. And from behind, he's fouled. And we'll have free throws before we end the quarter here tonight. So the foul is on Rashir Fleming. And Tavon Gaither at the line. I'm not sure they could do that. <laughs> We've got visiting cheerleaders or home cheerleaders. We can't do that. One left, right? no. oh, 
Gaither makes one out of two, and that's the end of the first quarter here tonight in Camden. It is 16 to nine here on BFA. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. Seven point lead for Camden. As we get ready to start the second quarter here tonight from Dewan Wagner Court. The Clarence Turner Gymnasium here in the brand new Camden High School. Chris Losey, Coffee Jones, and our BFA sports crew here. We're all here tonight dressed in our finest. <laughs> so for Rick Brunson and the Panthers, a timeout with 31 seconds left, and I certainly lost the bet. So it'll be Camden possession to start. The cutter was Robinson, but he couldn't handle it. Haskins tried the entry. Turnover. Back come the Indians. Good ball movement, but better hands defensively. Lenape will keep it under the baseline. Simpson, he'll kick it out. He's got three. And there is Aiden Anderson out top. Gaither. So much for the man-to-man, -man, right? That three from Gaither spills out. Did my eyes deceive me, or did the Panthers come out with a zone in the second Just quarter? a little bit. They started to switch a little bit of everything defensively. And there goes a three from Quamir Amin. Number 11 into the ball game. Lead is now at double figures for the first time tonight. You know what it looks like? It looks like a little John Chaney matchup zone there, doesn't it? <laughs> Underneath uh, Aiden caught. Anderson. They got caught. They got caught. You talk about it. This is a Division One point guard. You're going against a good job by Derek Simpson, being patient, waiting for the double team to attack and dropping it off for a nice dime. And he's got four. Coach Wolf said they're going to switch everything. You see that? Two switches back and forth on the ball screen with DJ Wagner. That's another problem, too, though. You have another foul call. Door set. And that's the fourth team foul for Lenape, and we have 6.20 left in the half. And this Lenape team, they're going to trust their guys. They're kind of playing a little bit small. Obviously, they don't have the big men that Camden do on the inside, but they feel like on the perimeter, they can switch and match up with anybody that Camden has. Look at Haskins taking on everybody. And that's the disadvantage because you don't have the bigs to match up with the size of the number one team in the country. Panthers with a full court. Lenape breaks it. Look at the tenacity on defense too, Coffee. They are just everywhere. Good no call there. Anderson drives. Nope, but he'll go to the line. <laughs> And I'll be honest, Chris, with Aaron Bradshaw behind me in a seven-footer, he had eight blocks in the opening game. He's got 11 in two games. I'd be a little more aggressive on the perimeter as well, you knowing you have that eraser behind you. The eraser. Anderson, the line for two. At what point are the officials going to say to the, to the cheerleaders that it is – a giant no-no to make noise when the visitors are shooting a free throw. And look, all these guys want to play at the Division One level. You're going to go to Cameron Indoor Stadium in Carolina. Not from the <laughs> cheerleaders, though. Allen Fieldhouse, Rock Shock, Jayhawk. Uh -huh. you got to tune Rock it out and make the free throws. Anderson makes them both. 
<laughs> the lead is to eight. And again, to the bench we go. Rick Bronson. Guess what? You get to interview him at the end of the game. <laughs> and Medley stepped out of bounds. Third turnover of the first half for Camden. Thankfully for them, those offensive rebounds and some timely shooting has gotten them this eight-point lead. Now here we go with that trap. There we go. They started off full court just man-to-man, -man, letting you bring the ball up slowly. But now they're turning up the pressure. First pass, you see the trap and the deflection. It'll be Robinson contesting that inbound. Two and a half gone here in the second. And a quick out. Great catch. And it's fully in on the end. Great catch. You beat the press. He attacked the rim. The shot blocker wasn't there. You get the quick layup and transition. We got a six-point ball game. There's a mini 4 nothing run here. Medley drives, pulls up, swatted down, but he's fouled on the way. It's a smart, heady play. The foul was on Fullian. See there, he didn't settle for the jump shot, got into the paint, quick hop step, came to two, did not travel. He's going to go to the line. Great move by Medley. I was here for that Roselle Catholic yeah. game, that ESPN classic for the opener here in this building. I remember starting the fourth quarter, Camden Demon down the entire game, and C.I. Medley was the one that rallied his team to say, hey, we got to go get this. This is our time now. And sure enough, in that fourth quarter, they come back with the victory. I'd say there's a lot of confidence in C.I. Medley where he just had no interest in getting an offensive rebound on a free throw <laughs> and clearing everything out. Medley with three. And the lead is seven. Wagner may be the star, but my opinion, at the point guard position, Medley's the leader of this team. Simpson pulls up, can't get it to go. And he's got to get going for Lenape to stay in this one. Look at that penetration. No. Rebound swatted down. No. And it goes to the Lenape Indians. Gaither pulls it up in the corner. That three's open. No good. That was from Simpson. Numbers for Wagner, and the runner is good from the left hand. <laughs> Chris, I struggle to make that with my right hand. He does that with his off hand so easily. He's got six, and the lead is up to nine. We come down to four minutes left until halftime tonight. And a foul, and Cornelius Robinson got a hand of Fullian. <laughs> he thought he had a steal. He was going to get loose for a breakaway. Really tough when, you know, you can <laughs> see the back of the, of the ball handler. Like Brunson didn't think so. Yeah, he, he's giving the ref a earful. Say, hey, wait a minute. Big guy Bradshaw comes Ooh. out of the game. It's interesting to see how Camden's going to play defense off of May Buckets. Are they going to stay in their full court trap? You see DJ Wagner picking up half court man to man, getting in the stand, sitting in the chair. There we go. There we go. Here Act we go. Active hands <laughs> and a send down. Eight for DJ. Lead is 11. And finally. Simpson gets it to go. Ice cold from the floor. He's got four. Wagner in the corner and he's getting hot. <laughs> it only takes one. It only takes one to go down. He is a volume shooter. I mean, at the high school level, he doesn't have the height or the length, but he reminds me of Kevin Durant. He can score from anywhere on the floor. He's got that slithery flexibility to get into the lane and get in the creases. And there's Anderson cutting. He has nine. I'm sorry, he has eight. That was a cross out. 
And 12 point lead is now down to 10. Wagner. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, <man. laughs> it's just so smooth. Now, I've debated with a lot of people being from California about Mikey Williams, who was the number one player in the class in some rankings the freshman year of these guys. But for right now, Wagner's been clear cut the best player as a junior in America. As soon as you go into the paint, you face the double team from the Panthers. Like right there. That's his great defense. And a bad <laughs> shot from Anderson. Turnover. Camden running back. All the way, and the foul is called on the penetration by Elijah Perkins. He'll go to the line. See, every time they try to get in the gap, you see a wall of white shirts. Right here, Perkins just gets downhill, gets to that left hand, and draws the foul. One more for Perkins. And again, Brunson will go to the bench. Bring back in Bradshaw. But you know who's clocked every second of this game so far. It's their All-American, DJ Wagner. And that was the mayor of Camden, Victor Karstarf. He knows a little something about Temple basketball. Let's start studying. We're just getting started for this season. <laughs> I mean, they got a, a heck of a roster and a heck of a schedule. Perkins missed High. them both. And the lead is 12. So we tick down to two minutes left until halftime. Great flex cut. Great cut. That's Dorsett. He gets on the board. Lead is 10 off the pick. Wagner got a shooter's <laughs> roll. I mean, your name's on the court. You should be able to get a roll here. <laughs> He is filling it up quick, and he's just so smooth and effortlessly the way he does it. It's just a pure score. He's got 16. Again, averaging 23 a night. 90 seconds left till halftime. This is going to be a backcourt violation. <laughs> Look at see how badly he's just as proud of getting a bucket as he is getting a stop. Great on-the-ball defense. These Panthers are tenacious. Ty Dorsett guilty of that turnover. Fourth turnover the first half for Lenape. That's one thing Coach said. You got to take care of the ball. The Coach Wolf team has not done that. They also have to guard this guy. <laughs> wow. The All-American. Three in a row from long distance. On the other end, <laughs> Anderson converts. He's in double figures. Gives a little word to the All-American as he runs past DJ Wagner. Way to leak out. I wonder if Wagner's going to get a double team. Boxing one, you got to try something. You see he comes off that down screen, gets to a spot. That's easy. It's cash money. <laughs> cash money, 18 points. Lead is 16. 35 seconds left. Tavon Gaither. And a double team again. And we're out. And in the open floor, all Panthers. <laughs> Perkins with the throw down. And they're still pressing. They're not backing off. They're trying to push this to a 20-point lead. And the turnovers have been deadly, along with number 21, DJ Wagner. Dorsett, Anderson, no. And that is how we'll end the first half. As expected, Camden running away. And after the first 16 minutes here, it is 41-23. Camden <laughs> is in front. That is DJ Wagner's show. Halftime coming up next here on BFA. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats. 
everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. It's so easy. They basically said, look, you can get a no money down lease. Sunrun comes in, puts in the panels, puts in the batteries, takes care of everything. And the price that you pay for your electricity is going to end up being cheaper than what you're going to get from the utility. So to my mind, it's a no brainer. I actually can't wait to go out and tell my friends about this.
We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. <laughs> and welcome back. Get ready to start the third quarter tonight. Our halftime score, 41-23. Camden is in front of Lenape. I'm Chris Losey with Coffee Jones and our BFA sports crew. And we're all here to see one guy, P.J. <laughs> Wagner, and he didn't disappoint. 21 nope. points, three steals, four boards. You, you, you see the, the four rebounds as well, but on the defensive end, that's what Coach Brunson, you talked about it. Quick timeout early. He doesn't like what his team is doing. They're not going to play defense and play fundamentally sound. He's going to stop it and make sure they get it together. DJ Wagner, the All-American, he gets out on the break. Two breakaway dunks, showing his athletic ability, the jump shots, the moving without the ball, just a silky smooth score, the best player in America, in my opinion. Recipe is simple for Camden to be successful. Ball pressure, they own the glass, and they score, and they've done all three things tonight so far. Six offensive rebounds in the first half, five turnovers by Lenape. First thing Coach Wolf said to be coffee, we can't turn the ball over. That's what they did in the first half. Now you're looking at an 18-point deficit going into the third quarter. And it's going to be an uphill struggle even more so for Coach Wolf because now DJ Wagner's hot. He's made his last five shots from the field. Three of them are three-pointers. It was about 30 degrees today, but it started to warm up in here because DJ in that second quarter, he got on fire, got one layup with the left hand, and before you know it, a couple threes get to fall, and he gets to break away steals. Thankfully, they don't have the same raucous crowd they had at Roselle Catholic in the opener because this place would be going nuts. Yeah, how was that, by the way? Oh, it was a lot of fun. I haven't had as much fun in a basketball game than anything. Right. Two top teams, excuse me, sorry about that, in the state, excuse me, not in the state, in the country. Roselle yeah. Catholic's up to number 13 nationally in Max Prex, even with the loss to the new number one team, the Camden Panthers. May I say you've come up very big with the second bag of pretzels. <laughs> you know I'm gonna keep the snacks, Chris. Come on, come on. Remember the, the remember those uh, corn thins? Yeah. <laughs> well, you had the, the tortilla the whole chips. bag. Yeah, we ate the tortilla chips, the football games. We'll do pretzels and the basketball. The whole bag went. We'll, we'll switch it up before we'll it up. we started. <laughs> Lenape will start second half in possession. That is Tiki Clark with the inbound. Tied or set. Tavon Gaither, number 24. Aiden Anderson, number five. He has 10 points, leads Lenape. And Derek Simpson are the starting five for Lenape. It's Wagner. That's Perkins who got a hand on that one. And off the miss, it's DJ Wagner. Sayon Medley. Deshir Hawkins. That's the five for the Panthers. Let's talk about the ability to be able to switch everything defensively for Lenape because you lost D.J. Wagner. He got a bunch of wide open looks in that first half. In the second quarter, he got on fire. 21-point first half for the All-American Wagner. Perkins tried to force it. That's a turnover for Camden. First minute of play, third quarter tonight on BFA. A little three-quarter court press just to kind of slow down the tempo. Simpson, did he have it blocked? They say he did. 
So Lennon B will keep it. It's like the ability to change defensively. You can go man full court. You can pick up three-quarter court and trap. You can go full court trap. Camden's got so many different versatile styles that they can play on the defensive end. Whistle out top and foul. This one's on Perkins. Thought they had a turnover. Yeah, a lot of ball movement for Lenneby, but somebody's got to be able to get into the gap. You see Jaws, George Norcross, bunch of Camden's finest here in the game. Eagles Hall of Famer. He came out to watch DJ Wagner. I know Jaws watched Grandfather Wagner. He watched Milt yeah. when he played back here with the Eagles. Oh, Thought it was a clean block, but Gaither's going to go to the line. Bradshaw got a hand on him. Tavon Gaither at four points in the first half. Got to be able to knock down your free throws, get those free easy points. If you can get to the bonus early on, if you're going to make a comeback and try to upset the best team in the country, you're going to need everything you can get. What is it with both of these coaches? They clear the lane in their offense on free throws. I've never seen that with – you know, unless there's like 10 seconds left in the game or something. There's a give and go. Great and Bradshaw play. has six. Great play design. You set the back screen for DJ Wagner. He catches it at the mid post. Go right into a screen and roll situation. Feeds his big man. Soft hand, soft finish. Three from Clark is no good. And the foul underneath. Another great job that Camden did in the first half was cleaning defensive glass, finishing those possessions. That's the first offensive rebound for Lenape in this game. There's a nugget. Aiden Anderson. And again, substitutions for the Panthers. Anderson gets one more. Two minutes gone in the third. Talked before the game about how Lenape can compete. Three things they had to do, and they're not doing any of them. Coach Wolf said, look, we're playing the number one team. There's no pressure. <laughs> we're going to see how we can match up. You're not going to find a better high school team in America than what you find right here in Camden, New Jersey with the Panthers. It was a shot. And the follow from Fleming. So Rashir Fleming is on the board. There we go. Half three-quarter court trap. Drive and kick. Three no good from Dorsett. A run out. That ball was deflected. Again, it was deflected. And off the glass, Gaither's able to haul it down. Simpson cutting out. Good pass. Clark was open for a minute, but you see the closure and the speed yeah. of Camden on defense. Anderson's three is good. <clears throat> 14 for Aiden Anderson, leading scorer for Lenape. Camden ahead by 16 tonight. As we tick down to five minutes left in the third. There's Medley, good look underneath. And that's going to send Fleming to the line. Anderson got him on the hand going up. Great job. You see him right here. He come off the screen and roll. Just a quick second delay. Good job by Rose Satan over by Ty Dorsett. Well, that would have been a dunk. Check that. That foul was on Dorsett. It's his second. One thing that we've seen in the Roselle Catholic game, a lot of missed free throws by Camden. They were fortunate enough to pull that game out. Going down the stretch, you got some tough teams. You're going to play Sierra Canyon, top five matchup. LeBron James Jr. in Allentown later on this month. You're going to have to make your free throws. We're going up there? I believe so. All right. Anderson thought he got fouled. Yeah, I thought he should have turned it over and tried to dunk that one. Got in the way of the passing lane. Dorsett, though, got a hand on it. 
Camden will keep possession, 4.45 to go. See right here, they take the time, get the ball in the middle of the floor, that's how you beat the press. You turn the corner baseline. Said it was clean. Medley. DJ Wagner, 21 in the first half. Medley penetrates, fouled on the way up. I think it's on Simpson. It is. So Medley back to the line. He has three points tonight. Very good ball handler. It's under control. We talk about this coach staff, Richard Brunson has. Dave Williams, a former point guard himself. He's coached some NBA talent and trained a lot of guys that have moved on to the college and the pro level. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Medley is taken under his wing and his tutelage to learn how to control the game, take good shots, and get people in the right position. One out of two, Dorsett, there's the double team, but a foul is called. That's on Medley, and that's his second. You know, earlier, Chris, you talked about how the defense closed out and swarmed, and they got some length on this defense. But you look at some of the guys out there with Medley, and you know some of these guys, Premier I mean, these are smaller guys, but they hustle and they show effort to get to wherever the ball is. Gaither lost it. Anderson is open. No good. And a rebound to Cornelius Robinson. Robinson cut off by Simpson. Left hand all the way. Got that move. <laughs> I mean, you can use a wing guy, one of your threes, and just sit there, dribble the ball down, take it by himself. Anderson took on Robinson that time. <laughs> he had a few words to say about it. Aiden Anderson is showing up here today. 6'4 senior. 16 points for that senior. Took down to three and a half left in the third. Wagner kicks it out. Robinson to the paint, Ooh. threw and got it. Good patience, didn't settle for the three, got in the lane. And this is up to a 20 point lead. And the All-American DJ Wagner hadn't even scored. He hasn't taken a shot here in the third quarter. It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay right here. Three, three, three on the clock. In the third, you look at the Camden huddle and Rick Brunson, who called a timeout at the 31 second mark <laughs> of the first quarter. Of the first quarter, yeah. exactly. One possession in. Hey, people not lined up right. Get over here. Let's talk about it. That Roselle Catholic game and that opener, this crowd was rocking. Obviously, you know, some COVID sanctions has limited it to just fans and family, excuse me, just the family of some of the players. When was that? It was uh, early December. But that game with the ESPN Classic, that was a showcase game, the first game in this new building here in DeWan Wagner Court in the Turner Gymnasium in Camden, New Jersey. Now they didn't have the clock. The timeout clock is visible here. So when you see the clock counting down during a timeout, and there's a couple seconds before it gets to the game clock, and. That was the reason for that delay, and now here we go. Let it be down by 20, their largest deficit of the night. Just a lot, a lot of movement by the Camden defense, always to the ball. You see Robinson try to contest that three, but Simpson got it to go. Eight points for Derek. It's a good sign out of the timeout. Down by 20, you come out, you get a three-point shot in the corner from one of your best players. Wagner kicks it out. Jumper no good. From Fleming, and a foul was called. And that was the referee, Coffee Jones, who made that call. Take us to break. <laughs> well, the All-American DJ Wagner's leading all scores. But right now, the Camden number one team in the nation is in full control here late in the third quarter. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, 
everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. That was a Camden timeout. 2.49 to play here in the third. 51-34 the score, and you see the Camden huddle, and we talked about it all night, but we anticipated it. They are so quick on defense. They extend defensively. You remind me of a team. I mean, this is Camden, New Jersey. Villanova's not that far away. And you talk about the way Jay Wright and those, those Wildcats get up and extend defensively. This Camden team, you get loose with the ball, they're going to take it away from you. You go up lazy to the rim, Bradshaw's going to block it. This team is loaded, and there's no secret why they're number one in America, according to Max Preps. Up by 17. I think we'll see a little more national showcase from this team. Oh, yeah. Sierra Canyon is going to be a national showcase. Next week they got some big games down the road. They're going to play about five or six ranked teams, not only in the state but in the country. Gaither hit the floor trying to set a pick, but no call. And there we go. And then Wagner steps in front. It's his <laughs> fourth steal and his 23rd point as he's back on the board. <laughs> he said, you know what, I don't have to get a shot in half court. I'm just going to take the ball away and do it myself. Lead up to 19. Gaither was the cutter, and he got the roll. Great play and good patience on that flash cut. With a defense extending like that, all you got to do is keep moving, cut to the basket. You'll find some open cutters, try to make some shots. Eight for Gaither, under two to play here in the third. Great job by Gaither there, stopping that backdoor lob. Medley tried to dish it. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the Panthers. Of course, we've seen the big guy Bradshaw dunk it. We've seen Wagner show up. But from what I've been told, Elisha Perkins is one of the best leapers you'll find in the state of New Jersey. If he gets an opportunity, you'll see some high flying. How about All the right big then. fella? All right, then. Bradshaw rattles a three. Stretch five. Give him nine. Lead back up to 20 for the Panthers. Clark and Simpson, two-man game now for Lenape. Now Gaither comes out, spinning free, but missed the floater. And the fadeaway is pulled down by Medley. Right to the hoop goes Cyan Medley, missed it on the roll. And with a minute to go, Simpson in the open floor. All the way, but could not get the roll. Gaither with an offensive board, then he throws it right away to Haskins. And there's Perkins up. Oh, he missed. I it. thought he was going to coffee. <laughs> you see how high he got. And <laughs> Camden got a break as the ball goes out of bounds off of Lenape with 44 seconds left in the third. It's a 20 point game. And Rick Brunson, the coach, like he's down by 20. That's Haskins. Back to the basket, spinning, left hand no good. Shot by Simpson clearing that rebound. And on the other end. Fullman. Taj with four. Medley missed the bunny. Out of bounds and it will stay with Camden with 10 seconds left. It was an 18-point deficit going into the third quarter. They've been able to cut it to 15, but every time Camden makes a couple of big plays, that breakaway steal and layup by DJ Wagner and the three by the big man Bradshaw, two crucial shots here. Robinson banging, then gives it up. And the shot no good from Bradshaw. And at the buzzer, we are through three. Eight minutes to go in Camden. It's an 18-point lead for the Panthers here on BFA.
We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. Final eight minutes to go here on BFA. Camden up by 18 tonight in the matchup of two unbeatens in South Jersey. Chris Losey, Coffee Jones, and the BFA sports crew here tonight. Said a little word with a couple of the officials. This is one of those where you just make sure the clock keeps going. Yeah. But, well, they had to do what they had to do. <laughs> but well, you have a relentless defense that Rick Brunson has. It's going to be up and down the floor, but you got to be aware, too, of the contact. You played even in that quarter. D.J. Wagner only had two points. He had a breakaway steal. We talk about the explosion he had in the second quarter, 16 points. Knocking down threes, getting those breakaway steals and dunks. This Camden team can do it defensively. They can do it in the half-court set. You turn the ball over and give them offensive rebounds, they'll beat anybody in America. We've done some games, you and I, in the now going on seven years we've been together. We've had a handful, uh, handful of, of viewers and then some. Robinson's three is good. Cornelius from long distance. 19-point <laughs> lead, and they're still up. They're not backing off. They're not falling away. See Wagner picking up three-quarter court. Gaither will drive. Tried to kick it out, but a foul was called. That was on Haskins. And we had, um, I think, in Williamstown game, the final, we had close to like 8,000, 9,000 viewers. Oh, oh, yeah. This is big time BFA. We got the whole crew out. We got cameras everywhere. Duck staff. So you, know, you know, just on a, a week night here in a high school basketball game. We have, what do we have now? Hold on, we're going to find out in a second. 5,484 <laughs> people. Are you nervous? Yeah, I told a couple friends. Look, we got Charles <laughs> here. We got the mayor here. Yeah, but he's Stone here. Cross and his son's here. Man, we got a lot of people here. We got some stars in the building. Gaither missed them both. This is just a start. I know that Sierra Canyon game, you know, going against Sierra Canyon, LeBron James Jr. Oh, yeah. Depending on the NBA schedule, I expect the Dewan Wagner Sr. and LeBron to both be there. Wipe that out. Oh. I believe, did Tracy count it? He did count it. Nice thing, correct. Ah. He called the block. Yep. So Gaither to the line with a chance for a three point play. I like what I've seen out of Gaither. It's a little bit from Simpson. You, you kind of need some more from him. Gaither and Anderson have kind of led the way, but being able to cut this lead down to 15, had some chances to clot it, close it into double, under double figures. In that third quarter, they were unable to do it. And, See why Cam is ranked number one. And Gaither's missed his last three throw, three free throws. You say that ten times fast. And Medley count it, and the foul. This is what I'm talking about. Being under control, that Chris Paul like control. He wants to drop the dime pass. He gets into the gap. Patient mid range shot takes the contact. And one for Mr. Medley. Medley converts the three point play. He has nine. Look at that change of hands by Aiden Anderson.
Medley goes right through two and then kicks it out and Robinson finishes. See, that's the thing. With, with C.I. Medley being able to get into the lane at any point in time, you can always get a good bucket. DJ Wagner's not even showing up offensively. Not that he's being shut down. You just haven't needed him. Simpson's long three is good. There we go. And double figures with 11 on my count. Mine two, and that gives him, well, gives Lenape two in double figures. And there's a nice cut. And that's Amin with a follow. Five points for Quamir. See, right there, when you give up buckets like that, if you're going to try to beat Camden, you want to tire out DJ Wagner, just force the ball to him, but he's not even happy to do the workman's low. Good strip. Look at those hands. In the second half, only two points for the All-American. But Camden's blown his lead up to 23. And Medley's hands on that play. Simpson again, short. Gaither goes up to get the rebound, and he throws it away. It's a good hustle by Gaither. I won't call that a turnover. He was hustling. Yeah. This is going to be a tough team to beat. When you talk about the headliner with the basketball, DJ Wagner. Third generation All-American here at Camden High. And they got a nasty streak in them, too. I mean, Cornelius Robinson off the misses. You see him. Oh, great pass. Great Anderson pass. left alone. Great pass. But Brunson didn't like that. Where and I'm, he'll call a timeout. Where I'm from, we call that a dime. That was a great pass by Simpson. You can see why. He's going to be playing in the Big Ten next season. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. The Camden Panthers, they call it the high here. Number one in the country and good reason. We should talk to the AD. Change the name from the Panthers to Piranhas. Because defensively, when they go with that full court press, they're like piranhas. When they smell blood or anything hits the water, you put that ball on the floor, Wait they're going to come with that pressing and that trap. What do Panthers do? Don't they pray? They do, but it's, it's a little different. They pray on defense. <laughs> it's hey, a speaking of names, what's your inside? Voices telling you, or your inside sources, rather, telling you about the Washington football team. What's the name? I, I know you know. <laughs> February 2nd. No, nah, no, nah, I know you know. <laughs> You're going to have to whisper it to me in a break. Off the miss. Good shot. How about Tiki Clark getting on the board? Medley takes on three. Good defense without fouling. And Gaither at the other end. Almost. Okay, a couple stops back to back. You cut it to 16. It's going to take a miraculous effort to close this game out if you're Lenape, but you want to see them fight if you're Coach Wolf. Wagner, Tiki Clark does a nice job, but it goes to the basket, and an offensive foul is called. Wasn't sure if he was going to make the call or not, but he did. I don't know how DJ even got that point to the lane. He looked like he was cut off. Defender was sliding and moving his feet. But the help side came over and stopped him before he got the left-hand layup up. Rick Brunson wasn't sure of that one. Saw the reaction by him, but the offensive foul called. Halfway through the fourth. Camden up. Big. That's 
Anderson out top. Gaither. There it is, good flex cut. Anderson, flex count it, cut. and he'll go to the line. <laughs> Great flex cut, you cannot fall asleep. You see right here, they set the back screen. Good job by Simpson setting that back screen on DJ Wagner. DJ fights to get back into play, almost gets the block shot, but the hang time by Anderson. Little emotion after it, he gets the and one. Anderson. Converts the three-point play. All right, Lindenby's not going away. They got it to 13. Could they get it to under single digits? I like the fight that I'm seeing from the number nine team in the state. Aiden Anderson has 23 points for Lenape tonight by my count. It's 13. Medley misses the three. Wagner's got a board. Perkins. Go up, young man. And he had it knocked away. Good job by Perkins, not taking that jump shot, got into the lane. Ball was deflected out of bounds. But good offensive rebound by DJ Wagner again, their eighth of the game. You just want to see him leap. <laughs> I really do. I know. Look at Perkins. Backing in, uh, foul called before the pass. The foul's on Aiden Anderson. Team foul number four. What about Camden over the limit in fouls? Look at Perkins banging. Nope, but he bangs his way to the line. And he got Anderson to bump him. Good patience by Perkins. See him here, he goes to the baseline, spins, drop step, just that extra hesitation gets the defender to jump into your body. And you get the call from the referee and go to the line. Elijah Perkins with one more. And that's his first successful free throw. He was 0 for his previous two. And he makes them both. And the lead is now back up to 15 with three minutes to go. Simpson on the nice cut. That's one thing I have liked about the Lenape team, the movement that they've shown off the ball, back cutting, being aggressive. And Cornelius Robinson gets a follow. <laughs> he may have more than 14 in this two, second four, half alone. Six, nine, 11, well, two, four, six. He's got nine in the quarter. There's great, a miss. Great help by DJ Wagner as well without fouling on that cut. Robinson. Taking on everybody. Oh, he's feeling it. He's How about feeling the roll? It. He's feeling it. He is feeling it right now. And you don't need DJ Wagner when you 17. got all of these All Americans. That pass knocked out of bounds by Cormier. I mean, 17 for Cornelius Robinson. Interested family member standing by. Close to 6,000 views tonight, partner. It's Oh, that's just right now. We're going to have more than that when we get the replay. No, live. I'm talking about live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is live. 6,000. We just broke it. I feel like we're in a telethon. Three for Simpson. Not there. Look at Cornelius Robinson. Have a night, big fella. Oh. But that pass was telegraphed. Yeah. By Medley and Anderson's pull up. No good. Simpson will track it down. Lenape still in possession. Good pass. And Gaither with a bunny. Good pass. And Rick Brunson calls a timeout. Up 15 with a minute 32 to go. Amazing how we both said the same word. <laughs> yeah, after that rebound, you see Cornelius Robinson break down the court. He was looking to go down the lane to try to get a dunk. A little careless with the ball by Sion Medley. Quick timeout by Coach Brunson. 
We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. in Vineland, New Jersey. Our score, 74-59. Camden in front, it's a 15 point lead with a minute 31 to go. Down to 90 seconds. That time of the broadcast, Mr. Jones. Huh? Tonight's game was produced <laughs> by Ryan Schumacher and directed by Doug Stasek. Our camera tonight, Charles Hope, Josh Davidson, Nick Penza. Two of the three were shooting at my wedding. <laughs> The executive producers of BFA Sports are Al Fisher, Doug Stasek, and Brian Murray. 60 seconds to go in our first basketball Ooh. broadcast. Simpson Whoa. flying high. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, you're going to take a charge. Make a decision, young man. Make a decision. Rick Brunson unloads hey, the bench. Hey, go get it back. Go get it back. And Luis Cosme, 30 into the ball game. He just down, bought out in the JV game and comes out. Down to 34 seconds left. A miss down the other end. 20 seconds to go. It's a long three, and it's good. Anderson. We're down to 10 seconds, and this will end it. Anderson, he'll fight to the last horn. Got to give congratulations to Almar Dyer, Mark Phillips, the AD here at Camden, all the people that helped put this production together with BFA Sports. We're in for a long season. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of stars here. It's a final. Number one, Camden rolling over previously undefeated Lenape. They give the Indians their first loss of the season. The final score, 76-64. Camden now 3-0, and they'll most likely keep their number one ranking in Max Preps and other national circles. We'll come back. We'll talk to Coach Brunson and wrap it up here on BFA. Again, the final, 76-64. Camden here on BFA. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. It's so easy. They basically said, look, you can get a no money down lease. Sunrun comes in, puts in the panels, puts in the batteries, takes care of everything. And the price that you pay for your electricity is going to end up being cheaper than what you're going to get from the utility. So to my mind, it's a no brainer. I actually can't wait to go out and tell my friends about this. Coffee Jones here with Coach Brunson. You get your third victory of the season, Coach. You're ranked number one in the country according to Max Preps. <laughs> what was your message to the team before the game, and how did they perform here today against Lindsey? Uh, I just told them, man, like, we worry about ourselves. We got to play hard and think that we can control. You know, play hard, play defense, play, with, play together. You know, every day we just try to get better. You know, we got a tough schedule coming up starting next week, you know, so we just want to get better every day. 
with DJ Wagner, obviously the All-American, the headliner you got here. He comes up with 23 points, but defensively, we've seen him on the breakaway, mm -hmm. getting in passing lanes. What have you talked to your team about to being able to lock in on the defensive end that they showed here tonight? Uh, I thought DJ was great tonight, especially in the first half. I thought he was great. I thought he had high energy. You know, that's what we've been preaching to him. Um, I thought, uh, like you said, he was in passing lanes, that, which he wasn't doing a lot in, in the first two games. So he was good. But uh, I, I thought overall we all played good. We played hard, and uh, I thought we played together. Just lastly, Coach, you got a tough schedule here. you got a lot of ranked teams. This team was top ten in the state, and you pretty much dismantled them. How do you keep your team grounded and focused night in and night out? Well, that's what we do, man. Like, you know, that's one thing about me. I'm, I'm going to coach the guys hard. Tomorrow we, we, we go, we, we go uh, right back at it to practice. You know, we don't worry about, you know, our, our rankings and none of that crap. We just try to go out, play hard, play together, and uh, hopefully we can get some wins. Good luck, Coach. Congratulations. Right, man. Thanks, man. Well, we'll be back after this. We'll get our player of the game, DJ Wagner, here on BFA Sports at Camden High School Athletics. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. And we're back to wrap it up tonight. 76-64, Camden a winner over Lenape in our first broadcast of high school basketball here on BFA. Chris Losey, Coffee Jones, that was the coach, Rick Brunson, who you don't see is our player of the game tonight, DJ Wagner. He hit his season average of 23, but he had 21 at halftime. <laughs> and then he became the um, the distributor, if you will. Yeah, I mean, he, he went from uh, from the scoring, Kevin Durant, to the defender and Kawhi Leonard, got in passing lanes, breakaway steals, breakaway dunks, showing the bounce and the athleticism. And you hear Coach Brunson talk about that, getting in those passing lanes, being more aggressive on the defensive end, being a two-way player. That's why he's the number one player in the country in this class, and this is why they're the number one team in America. And we'll see them again. Check your local listings here on BFA. We'll let you know. But for right now, Camden is 3-0. and And as many people say, including yourself, number one in the entire country. So that'll do it tonight for us. For Coffee Jones, I'm Chris Losey, the entire BFA sports crew. Thanks for watching us tonight. Camden's a winner. We'll see you next time here on BFA.